are here at Hero Motor Corp's Center of Excellence and Technology, which is the single largest R&D facility by a two-wheeler OEM in India. Now, to tell us more about this and the role it has to play in Hero Motor Corp's dream of becoming the world's number one two-wheeler manufacturer in every sense of the term, we have with us Marcus Bronsperger, who is the Chief Technology Officer and, as he says, the Maharaja of this place. Uh, Marcus, this place is not a regular R&D center, is it? No, it, definitely not. So, As you have seen the premises, mm. we do talk about 247 acres. Mm. We do talk about 16, 16 tracks, uh, 14 tracks with lengths of 16 kilometers. We do talk about a huge facility. We do talk about actually engineer's dream. Yeah. We, we have gone through the numbers, the statistics. Yeah. You come from a background, you have been in BMW. Uh, from that, I mean, the global perspective, how would you rate this uh, this infrastructure? Um, I would say that the biggest. How does it compare with some yeah. of the biggest, maybe? There, there, there are bigger ones, no doubt. But we do have a huge advantage here. We do combine on one side a design area mm. and labs and workshops, and on the other side we do combine our testing facility. Mm. So we have the test tracks, let's say. Uh, right there mm. so whatever we want to do in terms of, of testing activity we have it in arm length and this is a huge huge advantage so in this facility you have the wherewithal to come out with the product right from the concept stage to the production ready stage mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so now that this facility is up and running when can we expect the first product which is fully conceived uh, uh, de uh, designed and you know, prototyped and validated here. So you're quite precise in your question. Um, right now we shifted all our projects from Darohera, where we have been in earlier times in our R&D facility, three acres big, um, right now to this premises. So it means from this point of time onwards, all the vehicles, all the projects getting into mass production to have the CIT stamp. Uh, but as you ask, in terms of d delivering and developing from scratch, as an, as an average development cycle, depending on how big the changes are, is between 24 to 48 months. Um, this will define, or this defines by nature the timeline, mm -hmm. once we do come up from a completely from scratch developed vehicle from here. And also, uh, you have you had showcased certain products, including the 250cc concept and the hybrid concept at the 2014, and which were not there uh, at the 2016. 2016, you showed ready for launch for products, uh, and the CBG Extreme, which kind of no, so the Extreme 200, which kind of shows the direction for Hero Motor Corp in the premium segment. Now, you you have a twin strategy, isn't it? You have to. Oh, Wait, I, and as we speak, uh, Mr. Munjal is waiting to uh, talk to have a word. So I, I will wait for you. So maybe you can have right. a word with Munjal and Mr. Kamar. Thank you. So there he is. As you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a busy uh, place here. And in the midst of the interview, uh, Dr. Bronsparger has, was called by uh, the CMD, uh, Mr. Munjal. And he'll be back very soon. But let me tell you more about this uh, place. It's not only an R&D facility. A lot of focus is on making the the place very environment friendly in fact this has been certified as a igbc a green building uh, and uh, there are places where you don't have too many ac vents for example or oh, and the other thing which we would like to show you is that what you can see there that's the tower uh, it looks like a atc uh, in an airport but actually this is the tower from where a group of supervisors will be able to supervise uh, all the tests that are going on uh, on the track with the bikes in real time, like we see in uh, uh, motor racing, for example. So that's the kind of infrastructure that Hero Motor Corp is building here in Kukas near Jaipur. And uh, as I said earlier, the uh, dream of Hero Motor Corp is to be the world's number one. It's there, it's the world's number one in terms of volume, but as uh, Mr. Munjal said, it, it wants to be the world's number one in every sense of the term, which I would mean uh, in terms of engineering. And talking about engineering, we have Dr. Bronsberger back with us. Uh, in terms of engineering capabilities, mm -hmm. there's still a long way to go, isn't it? I mean, when you talk about, especially when you talk about global dreams, for example. 
no, the, to meet the Hondas, BMWs or the KTMs of the world? Yes and no. Looking, into, looking back into our history, we, we have right now four years, four and a half to five years history, R&D history at Tiro Motor Corp. Um, this is quite low. Looking into other companies, um, celebrating the 100th anniversary. Um, but on the other side, we are already global. We do sell 6.5 million vehicles. And the company has been doing the last four years quite well. So there is a basis to build up on. And this gives the confidence, knowing the people, knowing the talent, um, knowing the leadership team that we do have, that we are on the right track. It will take some time, but we do have clear targets to meet. And this gives us all the confidence. So talking about clear targets, yeah. I understand there's certain things which are very confidential, you can't share. But say, broadly speaking, 10 years down the line, you know, where, would you, where do you see no, Hero Motor Corp? 10 years down the line, um, we will have widened up our product spectrum. Um, we will not just focus on 100, 110, 125, 150, 200. Down the line, we will be, we will be, have a global product basis. I do not want to, to argue right now, will this be 600, 800, 1200 cc? Uh, but definitely we will be beyond where we are right now. Okay. But still having our strong customer basis, um, commuter, yes. uh, really still in mind. Yes, that, this that is, will remain the this strong, is, strongest pillar of your business. This is bread and butter. Yeah, yeah. And we have to focus bread and butter, not to forget bread and butter, while focusing other uh, good opportunities as well. Right. And on the engineering front, you had some arrangements with Magneti Marelli, AVL, uh, engines engineering. Yeah. So as you build this capability, so they those will be they will, those will come uh, kind of play the transition role, right? In, in the role of partners in the transition process. Eventually, you'll have a, have a fully self-sufficient and no, not have those arrangements. Yes. Our overall target is to become self-sufficient. Means that we really do have in-house capabilities to run a project from scratch into mass production. This is what we aim at in terms of our enhancement program. But there's no uh, two-wheeler, four-wheeler company on this planet who is doing all, running all the projects on their own. Talking about either capability in terms of technology or competency or talking about resources. Because talking about future projects, we will increase our workload as well. And having right now these partners and having a trustful partnership so gives us the opportunity to, to have a well-balanced uh, team right. to continue uh, this journey with. Right. And as I understand, to, to reach that self-sufficient stage, you'll be like it will, this area will be extremely busy starting this evening. And I believe that starting from tomorrow, this will be shut off, shut off from the outside world and also within Hero Motor Cup, the non-R&D people, as I understand, if correct. Yeah. And uh, but uh, thanks for you know, giving us the opportunity to see around this facility and uh, wish you all the best in your endeavors. Thank you so much. It was great having you here. And I hope that we can get give some confidence what we are capable right now, what is the right the right way ahead and what we have ahead of us, which we are highly motivated and dedicated to get this to get this done. There you see a very highly motivated and dedicated uh, Dr. Marcus Brunsberger and his uh, team at, here at Hero Motor Corp. And we'll keep a track of this story. So uh, do, 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 keep, do follow us uh, for all the developments on this and much more from the automotive industry. Thank you very much for watching.